cheese and mozzarella cheese tacos y'all look at them tacos we have a side of cucumbers some chili peppers we got some pico pico de gallo and some cilantro lime sauce we are drinking i believe it's just mango peach flavored water ah uh -huh. yes y'all who ready for this mukbang who love taco tuesday What's up, Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Happy Taco Muffin Tuesday. Who is ready? Y'all, I already know I am. Uh, we are drinking a mango peach flavored water. Uh huh. Yes, y'all. Mmm. Girl. That's the one and not the two. I promise you. Oh my God, that is, that's, that's the best one I've had so far. And it's an ATV brand, y'all. And y'all already see it. Y'all already see it. Yes, y'all do. Let's pray. Amen. Who is ready for this mother flipping muck? Bang! All right, which one are we going to do first? Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's hot. Oh my God. Ooh, we got our pico, pico de gallo. Yes, honey. And a little bit of sour cream just to make it a little mean. <laughs> For my self-esteem. No, I'm playing. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Y'all need to come to my house for tacos, honey, because <laughs> you ain't getting tacos like this nowhere. Nowhere but here. Mmm. 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 These are the one, not the two. Mm-hmm. Mm. My favorite day of the week. I go to the Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Yummy, freaking delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. What's y'all favorite thing to eat on Taco Tuesday? Y'all already know my favorite thing to eat is on Taco Tuesday. Y'all already know. Mmm.
Mm. Who's tacos crunchier than that? <laughs> Who? Mmm. Pepper Jack cheese on tacos is, oh my God, it's, just, it's everything. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I hope my, la my lashes don't fall off, y'all. I am trying these new lashes that are self-adhesive. Girl, if they fall off, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick them back on. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely delicious. I'm starting with like uh, chicken tacos better than any other taco, honestly. I don't know what it is about a chicken taco. It's just too good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. The way I see that meat, it should be against the law, for real. And freaking same. Yummy freaking delicious. <laughs> delicious. Come on, sour cream. Y'all ain't never buying sour cream in one of these things no more. Never. I tried it. And me no likey. Me no like. Who here for the crunch of these tacos? <laughs> I know some people just want to hear the crunch of these tacos. That's why I'm here. <laughs> hey, close the door, please. Mmm.
Anyway, how's everybody doing? How was your weekend? Girl. Mine was amazing and restful. You know what I'm saying? I planted. Um, I think most everything that I'm going to plant, I think I planted it. Unless I think of some more stuff, y'all. Um, I honestly, what did I even plant, y'all? Oh, my God. I know I planted strawberries. Um, oh, I still need to uh, plant some jalapenos. Um, and guess what I found out? You're not supposed to plant jalapenos and tomatoes together. And guess what I did last season? Yeah, that's what I did. That's probably why I never got a tomato. So, can't plant those together again this year. Um, so, I'm just going to plant the jalapenos with something else. I don't know. That's if I plant it with something else. I might just put it in its own bag. Excuse me. We'll see. We will see. Yeah, so strawberries, watermelons, onions. Mm. Oh, my God. And something else. It was a green. Mmm. Mmm. Swiss chard. I don't know what that is, but guess what? We gonna have some. <laughs> I don't think I ever had a Swiss chard. Mm. Have y'all ever tasted Swiss chard? <laughs> I know I've heard of it. <clears throat> and y'all, they got this thing going around TikTok talking about. White people, why y'all didn't let us know about this? I'm talking about some brie cheese. I've been knowing about brie cheese. Like, come on, black folks. Let's not act like we don't know nothing about nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Food is for everybody. Everybody. Okay? I've been knowing about brie cheese. Like, what? Anyway, <clears throat> I mean, let me know in the comments, have y'all been knowing about brie cheese? Like, that's one of the most common cheeses. And then and blue cheese also, they had put that in the mix too. Blue, blue cheese, like, what? Been knowing about blue cheese. What? I've been loving blue cheese. But maybe some people... It's just not finding out about it. And they thought it was a white thing, but it's not. It's a people thing. Excuse me. Now, kale, on the other hand. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Black folks just don't grow up with kale. At least we didn't. Did y'all? Let me know in the comments. Like, I, I didn't even know what kale was. When did it even come out? Like, <laughs> has it been out? Mmm. So we have so many topics. We probably not gonna be able to get to them all. Mm. There's been so much going on. Man, insane. I did my nails. I got my registration sticker today, y'all. I woke up at the crack of dawn today, honey. I said, I'm getting this stuff done. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. We got my um inspection. Then, tried to go to HEB and get my registration, right? I get there. 
the lady said that I have to have that letter that they send you initially in the mail. You have to have that, y'all. Whenever you go to HGB to do your registration, you have to have that letter, that green, that green and white letter that tells you how much it is and all that stuff, right? So I couldn't get it there because I didn't have the letter, but you don't have to have the letter if you go to your, uh, what was it, like that tax, tax assessor's um, office. You don't have to have it there. And if you're late paying, um, getting your sticker, if it's after the date and you've been driving the car, they charge you a late fee. But if your car was just sitting somewhere for all that time, you don't get charged a late fee. And I didn't even know that. Like, I'm like, he was like, was the car sitting? And I was like, yeah, it was getting fixed. And he was like, okay. And he filled out some type of affidavit or something. And I was like, yay! <laughs> I didn't get charged extra. Mm. Y'all know I had to give me some vegetables in here. Mm. Mm hmm. Y'all, I'm, I'm getting a little fully full. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. It's so good. Mmm. Y'all, I was gonna cook some enchiladas. Girl, I changed my mind. <laughs> I was like, mm mm. It's like I need to have the crunch of a taco on on Tuesday. I just need it. Mmm. Mmm. Well, y'all, I went and got my toes done. Freaking finally. What? First of all, my girl wasn't there, right? She usually does my feet. She wasn't going to be coming in until Wednesday. And I was like, girl, look, I can't wait. So, I let somebody else in the shop do my feet, right? Um... I kept changing my mind with the color and like how I wanted my toes. And because I couldn't have the regular like light pink, you know, that, you know, people get for their French, um, like pedicures. Um, and she, the lady who was doing my toes, she kind of got aggravated. Cause I was like, let me, let me just go ahead and get this color because she had offered me to use this certain color and I had told her, nah, I don't want that. You know, cause I didn't want it at the time. That's not what I wanted. And she caught herself getting aggravated looking at her coworkers talking about, I told her that blah, 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 blah. Girl, calm down, calm down. That's what I don't like to have to deal with. You know what I'm saying? But <sighs> I had to go get my feet done. And I, cause I gotta learn how to do my own feet. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't want them looking crazy. You know, like they be doing all the, you know, picking up the, you know, they do all the pedicure stuff that I don't know how to do. So, um, yeah, she had an attitude and I was like, girl, I can change my mind if I want to. But I just laughed it off because I didn't want to get into it with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to relax <laughs> and get my service done. Like, I swear, I wish they would just understand that people can change their mind. I didn't inconvenience you in any kind of way. I just changed my mind. She hadn't started painting my toes. She was still doing, the, like, the maintenance to it. To my feet. And like it, it wasn't a big deal. Like, I don't sometimes I don't feel like they know what customer service is. 
Honestly, and I, I'm not going to say every uh, person at every nail shop because that's not true, but we need to take some customer service classes, okay? Because, you know, like you can't tell somebody what they, gon what they need to do. You can suggest it in a nice way, but girl, and all the slapping of the legs and stuff, but I just cannot. <laughs> Don't slap my legs. <laughs> Please don't do that. I don't like it. But it's their way of like playing, but I don't, I don't want to play like that. <laughs> and the slaps don't be uh, soft. They be slaps. You know. Anyway. So that might be done. I like them. Um, but a couple of my toenail beds, y'all, are turning dark. I'm like, why? And then I started thinking, I'm like, well, I have stubbed each one of those toes several times. Like, several times when I would um, put, like, acrylic on them. I stopped doing that, by the way. Like, for some reason, I would always jam my toes or hit them on something when I would be wearing the acrylic toes. Anyway, stop that. But I think that's how the darkness started on my, on my nail bed, on two of my toes, y'all. So upset about that. Because how do you get rid of that? You can't. You just have two wood wooden toes. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. Wooden toes, because that's what it look like. Wood. <laughs> Literal wood. Yeah. But I'm getting full. But yeah, while I was out there, I couldn't wait to come back home. When I tell y'all, two people almost ran into me. Two. I had to bomb, bomb my horn. Like, you don't see me sitting right here? They bagging up, not even looking at what they doing. Girl, I need to go to the house. Like, I had all these TikTok videos, y'all, I had to do right before, excuse me, I did this video. I have a couple more to do after this, y'all. It has been hectic today. I mean, hectic. It's getting kind of hectic. <laughs> y'all, I remember that. I used to love that freaking song back in the day. Oh, I used to love it. Mmm. Okay. Did y'all hear about that young lady who went on that date? With that white guy. They went on a date, y'all. And she did not come back home. He unalived her. I know y'all heard about that. It's everywhere. Okay. Yes, okay. So this happened apparently in uh Milwaukee. Um I do believe they met on a dating app. I'm not sure what app that was, but y'all, oh my God. Like, I guess I, I don't know how much I, advice I can give on, you know, dating apps and stuff like that because I've never been on one. Um, and, you know, I'm not in the dating scene, but y'all... It just seems like it's, I know that it can happen, you know, and not be from a dating app, but the dating apps, y'all, are a big red flag. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't understand why people use the dating app. Is it easier or something? Because it seems like you can literally go anywhere and meet somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I don't know, y'all. Um, but yeah. Never, never go out on a date and then go back home with them on the first day. 
it, not during these days, honey. Like, you know, it's just, that's what happened. You know, they went out on their date. I think they went to a couple places. I think they went to two places. Anyway, here go the story. Hold on one second. Another Jeffrey Dahmer. We got a They're calling him Jeffrey Dahmer. Going on right now. He remind me of him. Parts of this 19-year-old woman named Sade Robinson. She went on a date with this 33-year-old man, dude. She went on a date. They went a couple places. They went back to his house. Uh, that's where he unalived her at his house. He chopped her up. Took her car. And spread her parts out all across the city, okay? They found her car burning because he um, burned her car with, with one of her limbs in it, okay? <sighs> Rest in peace of this girl. It's just, oh. Her name was Sade Robinson. Just, it's just sick and sad. Why did he do it? Nobody knows why. He hasn't told anybody why he did it. He probably don't even have a reason. It was probably fun for him, I'm sure. He looks like he's a psychotic person. He reminds me of Jeffrey Dahmer. That's why he's saying Jeffrey Dahmer 2.0. But listen. Her name was Maxwell Anderson, and this dude killed her, chopped her body parts up, hopped on a bus, and spread them around the city. It's so weird to see how all this is... He didn't hop on a bus, y'all. He hopped in her car. And spread around the city. Playing out and tied in together. Earlier this month, I seen her missing person picture. I shared it. Then they started finding, like the news kept saying they was finding body parts. Then, like a couple days ago, they reported that they found a burned up car that had been like set on fire or something. From what I'm it reading, they car. already had Maxwell Anderson in custody on something unrelated. But the investigation of her disappearance led them to find out that him and her went on a date the day before mm -hmm. she disappeared. Now yep. he's being charged for his crimes and held on a $5 million bond. But the craziest part is that they're saying this dude's dad is some high up, important or rich guy in the city. And he's got the money and they're actively trying to get him out from this $5 million bond. They're saying his family got him like the best of the best lawyer. And they're actually about to try to fight this as if this man didn't do this. They got I mean, him on camera wearing the exact same outfit that a witness did. But let me tell y'all how real getting somebody off from a murder case is. Honey, all he has to do is have the right lawyer to create some type of reasonable doubt. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's rules you got to follow it, with this. You know what I'm saying? Even if it was just so obvious that he did it. He could literally get off, y'all. If, 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 if the jury believes that there's any type of reasonable doubt that this man did not do it, y'all, he could get off. That's probably why they trying his parents with all the money trying to get him a good freaking lawyer, one of the best lawyers, um, because that's what good lawyers do. You know, they get people off. And girl, if that happens, it's going to be some smoke in the city. I already know it. Allegedly. It, allegedly it is, though. For real. Because that is, uh-uh. I don't know how anybody would um, come up with any type of reasonable doubt because they trace his steps. They got surveillance um, of him. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, mm, mm. I mean, he looked like he got a problem. Like, what is really going on with you? Like, he looked crazy. I could not believe it. 19? She's only 19. She was only 19. I heard that she was about to graduate from, I believe it was, um, was it community college? It was some type of school, and she was about to graduate, y'all. And she was just doing good. Her mom is just, oh, her mom is just torn up, and I could just imagine Describe seeing the person burning the car where scariest part to me oh, is the fact that this happened. Then somebody saw him walking away from the car that he 
uh, had just set on fire. There was a witness that saw him. And I hope to God that they, um, you know, are, um, what do you got? Testify. I hope y'all, like, I hope that, that the person can't be paid off because you know how people be doing that type of stuff. <sighs> anyway, pray for her mama, y'all. Her mama, oh my gosh. She looked just like her mom. She was just like her mother. She was gorgeous. Okay? Gorgeous girl. Just, <sighs> like, I can't believe he did that. Like, I just, I still, I can't believe it. I cannot believe that. Um... So you know, you know, since um, OJ uh, is passed away, everybody is talking about whether he did it or not. People are saying that the people that were in his room, you know, in his last days or whatever, allegedly he made them sign an NDA. I don't know if I believe that because it was his kids and his family in there. So why would they have to sign NDAs? You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't know. For some reason, I don't believe that. Um, but this is what Judge Joe Brown said about, he was uh, he was apparently um, doing an interview. Y'all know who Judge Joe Brown is. He, he had, um, you know, that show. I don't know if he still has the judge show on TV or not. But anyway, he was giving his opinion on whether or not OJ did it. Listen to this. Like, I think this is so interesting to me. Listen. Oh, I looked. Did OJ Simpson get away with murder? No, I looked at all the evidence they had and talked to the experts. They never should have brought the charge against him. And four of the chief detectives that were involved in that OJ case wound up doing time in California for planning evidence. And as a matter of fact, if you saw the entire trial, there are several instances where evidence was planted and it's recorded on tape. The main reason the American public thinks she got away with something is because there was a sleaze known as Nancy Grace who's still around and that was her first reporting thing. And she hyped that and put a lot of falsity out there and the American public believed it because that was the only person they were here. I saw the entirety of the evidence. Nicole and Rod Goldman got their throat slit from ear to ear. Their tongues pulled out of the slit with a pair of pliers. That is horrible. The fatal injury was a stab by a left-handed person. O.J. was right-handed. What the? It went in, and it did that damage. There were no peripheral strikes. The footprints and the blood showed that somebody with a size nine shoe, nine and a half shoe, and somebody with a size nine and somebody with a ten and a half were there on the scene and did it. One of my late brothers actually was the expert the state was going to call until he refuted it. The glove man I know personally, the name is Richard Zuckerwar. He took a tracing of everybody's hand. It was a size large glove that fit Furman. And O.J. had a 2XL, which was way too big. Johnny Cochran knew that. So if it does not fit, you must acquit. And the famous you can see fan. Berman actually plant the bloody socks on a video that the jury what? saw that Nancy Grace refused to talk about. The DNA evidence that condemned them, she said, if you saw what went on, and I recorded all of it, it looked... And they asked him, did he plant any evidence? At the trial, y'all, I saw the clip. And he literally took the fifth. He took the fifth. So if you didn't do it, you would say that you didn't do it. Okay. Like, what? Oh, my God. Looked at it, the expert said... This doesn't exclude 96,000 people in the L.A. area. And the person that donated this is from the Northeast Mediterranean. Oh, oh hey, Sicily. I got him. Got that's a... some. No, I look... So, yeah, y'all. That is what Judge Joe Brown said. And he was there. He followed the whole thing. I'm pretty sure he's a lawyer. Because um, how can you be a judge without being a lawyer first? So, yes, he's a lawyer. And, you know, he knew everything. Uh, 
you know, I wasn't, I got to be honest, back then I wasn't really following it. I just, uh, you know, was waiting to see if he was not guilty or not. I didn't really like follow the trial like a lot of people did. Um, but y'all let me know, did y'all, and what do y'all think? Do y'all think that he did it or not? I know this is way past the time and, you know, but what do y'all think? Uh, what else, y'all? Oh, my Yo, God. What? So much. Oh, and something else. Y'all, I heard about this a couple of days ago. Yeah, we're moving on. We're going to be moving on from topic to topic, okay? So, just keep keep up. Um, They said it's some unknown anomaly bigger than Texas moving under the water. They literally see it, okay? And nobody knows what it is. They don't know what its purpose is. They don't know... What it is? Have y'all heard about that? It's literally a big mass, the size, it, bigger than the state of Texas, y'all. Okay? Moving through the water. People think that it's, um, what, what they saying? A, a Levitan? Whatever that is. Somebody says, it's actually a Levithan. They are quite extraordinary. And I know this because I've been studying them ever since I learned about them in the comments 30 seconds ago. I swear, people are ridiculous. Um, but yeah, people are saying that they're, it's a Levithan. Excuse me. Um, let's see. Well, that's what people are saying. Levithan, whatever the hell that is. Yeah, that seems to be the running thing here. Anyway, um. There have been reports since Tuesday of a huge anomaly moving since underwater. Since Tuesday. The scary thing is, it's been active for the last two days. Meaning that it's made its way all the way up here near South Africa. To give you guys some perspective, this anomaly is bigger than Texas. Bro, what the hell is going on, bro? I have no clue. He don't know either. But this, everybody's talking about it. Don't nobody know what it is. So that's really all the information, you know, that I can give y'all. Um, but yeah, like y'all, things ain't getting weird and scary, honestly. Like weird and scary. Um. Oh, and I wanted to touch on... It was a comment that somebody made about how many calories that I put into my body, right? When you are eating keto, we don't worry about the calories. We, we don't do calories because we're not eating all day. So we're not going to consume that many calories. Like I said, I eat once a day. I eat one meal a day. I might have a little snack or something, you know, before I do a video. But most times, this is my first time eating, right? And like I said, we don't do the calories. All we do is less than um, 30 grams of carbs, less than 30 grams of sugar. That's the only thing that I am worried about as far as my diet goes, okay? Not calories. Um, and let you me, will never successfully listen. lose weight and keep it off until you learn this one thing. When it comes to fat loss, focusing on the hormone insulin is more important than calories because your body can insulin only lose its body important. fat when your insulin levels are low, mm -hmm. not when you're in calorie deficit because different foods have different effects on your blood sugar levels and therefore your insulin levels. So 100 calories of processed carbohydrates will spike your insulin level and will prevent you from losing your body fat. But 100 calories of protein will keep your blood sugar levels and your insulin levels low and steady and will allow you to burn your body fat. The key is to focus on keeping your insulin levels low and steady and not your calories. If you are struggling to lose your belly fat or if you have skin tags and skin pigmentation or always tired and ready to take a nap, especially after having meal, or if you have type 2 diabetes... Uh-oh. 
PCOS, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This is all because you have too much insulin. So once you bring your insulin levels down, we are mm -hmm. able to reverse all of these conditions and you'll start wow. losing your body fat and your weight. Here's how you can lower your insulin levels. Number one, intermittent fasting. Start simple, skip your breakfast and I'm just have lunch and dinner, two meals a day. Number two, introduce a diverse source of fiber before every meal fiber is something that your body cannot digest so as that fiber envelops the food it reduces the glucose spikes and therefore the insulin spikes you will never successfully lose know that. weight and keep it off until you learn this one thing when it comes to fat loss focusing on the hormone insulin is more important than calories because your body can un okay having low insulin is what we um concentrate on okay having low insulin N not um calories not worried about cal calories but he explained it really really good my why i saved this video um and but if that's the journey that you're on go ahead and do that i'm just not worried about calories and I honestly, y'all, I could have been lost this belly that I keep complaining to y'all that I have. Because all I got to do is fast for a little bit longer. And then start eating the stuff that, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like vegetables and meat. Vegetables and meat and some uh, healthy fats. That's how I can lose the rest of this stomach. But, you know, <laughs> I have to... I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, honestly. I know what to do. I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it. I feel like I'm doing the bare minimum right now just to, so I won't gain all of that weight that I had before. But, and I'm, I'm maintaining and still losing too. I'm still losing a little here and there. Um, but yeah. I know how I can lose lose it. I know exactly what to do. But, you know, eating is my job. So, you know, I can't necessarily go on a, uh, on a three and four day fast, you know what I'm saying? When I'm the only one doing the, these videos. Like, if me and Mercia were still doing the videos, I could probably do it. But... It's all good. I'm literally satisfied, though, honestly. Um, but anyway, just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, did y'all hear about the pit bull, the family pit bull, that uh, attacked the family's uh, child and unalive the baby? On a lot, the baby. Um, where is it? Hold on, let me A young find man it. jumped to his. Mm -mm. Please say the mother. Have you guys seen? Yo, please. I don't know what it is. Littleton, Colorado. Here's the fact. Littleton, Colorado. Oh, uh. Where is it? Oh, I told you I don't do no gate. Hold on. When they no longer need. Oh. Nico's dad, what? East Hartford family is. Here it East is. East Hartford family is suffering. Y'all, such... heartbreaking story. One, a one-year-old boy was killed after being attacked by the family's pit bull. When I tell you, like, and this happened in Connecticut. Um, hopefully, this is a recent story, y'all. But. I don't know, this, that's why I feel the way I do about pit bulls, y'all. I know every pit bull is not, you know, like that. But, I don't know. I just don't feel like people should take um, chances like that with animals that could, like, change their mind anytime they want. Even if they're trained. You know what I'm saying? Like, pit bulls, I don't feel like pit bulls should be around kids. I really don't. Or any type of dog that could you know uh be trained to unalive you know what i'm saying like or to fight or like they just shouldn't be around kids i 
I feel like there needs to be some type of law, honestly, to be honest with you. That's how I feel, but... Heartbreak and immense loss yesterday when their one year old baby was killed by their dog. We want to warn you, this is difficult to hear. Yeah, it happened in the backyard as this baby and his mother were playing. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts is live for us in East Hartford with that heartbreaking interview. Amanda. <laughs> Yeah, Mike Amber, it is heartbreaking. We want to warn you again that it might be tough to listen to. The family tells us one-year-old baby Lennox was playing on a trampoline in his backyard with his mom when the family dog attacked them both. They were playing. I just want my baby. I want to hold my baby. That's all I want. An East Hartford family dealing with unimaginable grief. After one-year-old Lennox was killed Wednesday afternoon by the family dog, as the baby and his mom, Kishla, were on the trampoline in the backyard. Got onto the trampoline. <laughs> you grabbed the baby. This is the dog that police say was the aggressor. They took two dogs from the home. It's behavior that the family says isn't typical. If the dog would have been aggressive or anything like that, just not believe he would have never been around the baby. A day after the tragedy, a grateful embrace with their neighbor. Every day you go. Thank you, child. He ran. So rest in peace to the baby. Y'all pray for the family because this, that is heartbreaking. Like, can you imagine? Like you. You love your pet and you love your child. And the pet that you love so dearly did that to your baby. Like, can you imagine what those emotions are like? Like, I couldn't even imagine. I could not. And it was a family dog. It was their family dog. So sad. They done lost both of them. Both of them. Um, what else is going on, y'all? Um, Top three deadliest foods that can kill your dog in one bite. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all know this already, but of, everybody knows about chocolate. Chocolate is like you never give chocolate to your dog but listen with number three chocolate you already know we can't give dogs chocolate reason being dogs cannot metabolize it there's a chemical in there called theobromine that is deadly to dogs if they ingest it now the darker the chocolate the more deadly it is now moving on to number two peanut butter but not just any peanut butter human grade peanut butter that has xylitol in it xylitol is found in peanut butter sugar-free candy gum sugar-free cookies etc watch out for that chemical it can radically decrease your dog's blood sugar levels to a deadly point so watch out now finally number one grapes grapes and grapes. raisins are deadly to dogs as little as just one grape could kill a dog so be very careful around grapes and raisins with your loving pet Top three deadliest foods that can kill your dog I didn't know in that. one bite. Starting with number three, chocolate. You already know. We can't. I don't know that. I don't know about grapes. I think we tried to give Bailey a grape, but she didn't want to eat it. She sure did not. She did not want to eat that grape. And I don't think Mercer will know that. Oh my God. I got to make sure I tell him that. Mercer! Do you know that dogs cannot eat grapes? Yeah. Oh, okay. He said he knew. Anyway. Um. What else, y'all? Um. Did y'all hear about the big thing that's going on on TikTok about Creole people? Okay. Most of us probably already know that Creole people come in all shades. Black people come in all shades of color, okay? But there are black people, y'all, on TikTok saying that Creole people are not black because of their skin color, y'all. Y'all know it's some Creole people in Louisiana that look white, but they're black. They just real, real, real light skin. And they call them Creoles because they are mixed with a lot of stuff. They're mixed with African. What is it? Spanish, French, 
Um, and I think there's one more. I can't remember what it is, but there are actual black people, y'all, saying that. Calling it, it, there's a, a particular lady that they're talking about on TikTok. There's more than just her, but they're honing in on her because she's saying that she black. And she don't care what nobody say. Like, the people that raised her was black. But she is a Creole. And she grew up as a black Creole. You know what I'm saying? She said there's other people in her family that left and went to, like, different states because, um, you know, they wanted to live as white people. So that's what they did. Um, they got away. They moved away. And they're living as white people. Um, but that is not how they grew up. That's, that was just their choice because they were able to pass. It's called... Uh, oh my god, Passe Blanc or something like that. Passe, Passe Blanc, pa, pas, Passe Blanc. I think that's how you say it, anyway. But y'all, it's just so weird to me how we basically are saying, you know, she can't be in our this lady can't be in our community. Uh, how dare her? And all y'all, it is insane. Saying what people are saying about this. Like, listen to what this girl got to say. She's a black girl and she is talking about this black lady. That's Creole from Louisiana. Listen. I am so disgusted. I'm and disgusted TikTok with her. I even try to take this video down. This is for educational purposes only. She this needs to educate herself. She's black. Yes. This woman right here. She's literally using the one drop rule, which is literally racist ideology to oh quantify God. blackness, to justify her feeling entitled to black spaces. And she literally threatened to drag a dark skinned black woman through the mud because she called her white. You don't see how and why this woman threatening to drag a black woman through the mud. If you don't see how that's problematic, it's not you're the fucking problem. Like I'm so tired of these non black people feeling entitled to black spaces. Basis. Just because you grew up eating gumbo and you know how to season chicken well, that is not, that's not what blackness is. I'm sorry. Y'all want to be in proximity with white people so fucking bad that you're willing to let a non-black person, a whole white person, disrespect a black woman. And y'all over here defending this woman. I'm disgusted. I need for this woman to educate herself on colorism, texturism, featureism, and all the isms before she tries to participate in these conversations. She, before she feels so entitled to spaces that she is, she should not even be a part of. Period. I Y'all, this girl... Oh my God, I have watched this video so many times, y'all. It has made me so, so upset. Like, I literally can't even believe that she thinks that this lady is not black. Like, you should hear her. You should you should hear th this lady that they're calling white. Like, you can tell she's black. Her hair, everything. She has curly hair. She has the, you know, the Louisiana accent. Like, she, it ain't nothing about her, but her skin color it is light skin. Back in the day, y'all, we used to call these people red. That's what, you know what I'm saying? We didn't call them white. We call them red, red bones. Because that's what they were, red bones. And, you know, I feel like people who didn't, like, grow up in Texas or didn't grow up anywhere around Louisiana or don't know anything about Louisiana and the people that come from there, um, like, you know, it's people like from the East Coast saying this and stuff. They don't freaking know. But they need to educate themselves. All you have to do is Google. I literally Google what a, a Creole uh, person was. Like, who is that? Should have known who it was. Anyway. So, what was I saying, y'all? Um... Yeah, like, people just need to educate themselves. Like, if you don't know something, just freaking Google it. Google it. And people all in her comments saying, that is not a white woman. That is not a freaking white woman. Because it's not. She's not a white woman. I, this conversation that's going around, y'all, it, it really hit home. Like, it just really made me upset. Um, Because I already know. I know. You know, it's just, I don't know, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Do y'all feel like uh, Creole people are black? Because I know they are. 
Like, I know they're black. Girl. And and they don't have, it's not the one drop freaking rule. Eat. Like, it's not, they don't have one drop of African in them. Like, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's not a drop. Okay? Anyway. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Um, okay, so y'all remember the, um, I believe she is, was she transitioned from uh, a male to a woman, okay? And she wanted to play professional sports. I believe that she is a so, swimmer. Excuse me. Yeah, she's a swimmer, swimmer. Um, and her name is Leah Thomas. Do y'all remember Leah Thomas? Okay, I remember, um, you know, she was on the news uh, because, she, like, she was winning a bunch of stuff in, in a woman's category, and people were not going for it, right? So, now this just happened. And I, I don't know. I kind of feel like this is wrong for them to have done this. They should have let, maybe, you know, let her keep her, um, her titles because they let her play. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, they stripped her of all of the titles because, um, they decided that, you know, it wasn't right. I guess there was so much backlash about it that, um, they decided and voted on, you know, her not being able to participate. I don't, I, I think that she can't participate anymore and they stripped her of all of her titles. But listen. Leah Thomas has lost every title. And I'm like, oh, damn, y'all took every title? And I was like, let me go ahead and read up more on this. Cause I was like, dang. And it said, in a decision that has rocked the sports world, the national governing body has chosen to invalidate Leah Thomas' accomplishments, stripping her wins, titles, and records of their recognition. Ooh, this move has sparked intense debate and raised questions about fairness, inclusion, and integrity of competition. What do y'all think? So y'all let her play all these matches. Exactly. Just take it back afterward. Are you? Are you let somebody play and then take it back afterward? Don't let them play to begin with. If you was gonna take it back, like, like it's kind of crazy. Like, this is like when Steve Harvey up and like. Like I don't. I don't know if that's fair. Honestly, like I really. I, I don't think it is. I don't think it's fair because they let her play. So she played and she won. You know, just from now on, don't let her play. And, and, you know, then she won't be able to receive these um, accolades and stuff. But don't take, excuse me, take what she's already earned. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just think that that's wrong. And I don't know. It's wrong to me. It's wrong. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about it. I just th I thought that was wrong. I really do. Um, let's see what else, y'all. What else is going down? Um, what is this? Okay, no, that's for me. That's my information. What is this? Um, oh, y'all. Did y'all hear about this? Talk about freaking nail salons. I should have brought this up after I was talking about the nail salon. Woman sues nail salon claiming they gave her herpes after a manicure okay um uh, not sure where the let me see a local woman is suing a nail salon alleging that she got listen to this her this is my experience first hand experience from when okay so okay so this young lady stitched that video of that you know um woman suing a nail salon because the nail salon gave her herpes basically she is telling us how nasty nail salons are Okay, she she's basically saying that the nail files, all of that stuff that they're supposed to change after every customer, they're using the same one for every customer. The wax, the waxing stuff, they're using the same stuff, y'all, for every customer. Even the, um, y'all know that blue stuff that is in those jars where they're supposed to sanitize all of their tools and stuff? 
Because I, I remember this because I went to cosmetology school and we would sanitize our combs and brushes in, in that blue stuff. I forgot what it's called, though. It's hospital grade something. And she said that they would put some type of cleaner in there. It wasn't even the hospital grade cleaner that you're supposed to have. She said it was something else they would put in there that looked like it. I'm like, well, why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just get the solution? That, like, how are they supposed to have? Anyway, so nothing is sanitized, y'all. Um, I'm not saying this is every salon. I'm not saying that. But in the salon that she was at, she said celebrities used to come there. Like, it was like a really known um, nail salon. She said celebrities came there, actors, you know, all that. Um, Listen to what she said. I used to work at a nail salon the nail salon that i used to work at i wasn't licensed yet because i was still in school but they still accepted me but i could only work he on weekends because that's the busiest and um the survey people wouldn't come during the weekends so i could work so these are the things that i found out when i was working there and i i could just share it you know number one um, Yo, Bailey was tiptoeing well, is a medium class okay like there would be netflix actors that would come in there and get their nails done so and actresses so it's been it's not a one-star hotel it's not one star hotel it's not a one-star one one nail salon um number one they don't change the scrubs that we use on the feet the scrubs to take out the dirt on your feet we don't we don't change them until like four clients or five clients so we keep on using them and using as long as it can scr still scrub something we'll keep on using it wow. number two i worked there for two months the the whole two months i did not change my file not even once that i used that file for every client that would come in there and i would work with their hands feet everything one one um file anyway third um wax the, they use like the orange wax thing to make your feet softer um we use them for both feet and hands take that in mind listen to this y'all know the whack the thing that they offer you w would you like this type of uh you know manicure i mean a uh, pedicure because they upcharge you right i always say i just want the regular one i got that wax uh that melted wax stuff one time and it burnt me right but anyway what they do is, okay, so they use the, the wax on you. They put it on your feet, you know, act like they're doing something or whatever. And then when they're done with it, they put it in a bucket and reuse it for another customer, y'all. I was shocked when she said that. She said one time she did somebody's feet with the wax and she threw it in the trash. And then somebody came to her and was like, come here. We don't throw the wax away. We reuse it. We put it in this bat in this uh in this bucket and we reuse it on the next I don't know how many times they reuse that wax. That is disgusting. And like she said, they use that wax for feet and hands, y'all. And the reason why she's saying all this is because um that's why whoever that lady is that's suing that um nail salon, that's how she got her bees because they're nasty. And they don't be changing nothing out. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, excuse me. I guess they said we ain't got money to be uh, switching out all this stuff. I guess, y'all. And then, you, you know that thing that they scrub your feet with? The scrub the bottom of your feet? They not changing that out. They are using that same scrubber for everybody's feet. Like, I don't even know if they clean it after they use it on somebody's foot. Like, I don't even know if they do that. But anyway, um, and you know, we go all the time and we don't never say nothing. I know I didn't. I didn't say anything today. I, honestly, I wasn't even thinking about it. I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, but you know what? Next time I go, I'm going to be like, I need you to use a new one of those. I need you to take it out of the package I want to see. I want to see how they react. And I'm going to record it too. I'm going to record it. Because I'm I'm going to guarantee you that they are going to get mad. They're going to get upset. It's going to turn into something. I, I just know it. I just know it will. Um, You know, when you question them about anything, like anything, about anything sanitary, like they're, I'm pretty sure they're probably going to get upset. But we're going to see. We're going to see. Next time I go, I'm going to record and I'm going to say, 
well, can you take that? You know, I, I need a new file. I, I need to see it come out of the package. I need a new one of them. I need a new one of them. I swear to God, I'm going to do it, y'all, and I'm going to record it. Anyway, um, so yeah, y'all, that is my uh, last topic. What are y'all doing? I mean, they're just out of control tonight. Out of control. But anyway, um, yeah, y'all, I'm reading comments tomorrow. Eyelashes falling off. It, it like it's literally coming off. <sighs> yeah, I don't. I don't think these are working for me. These are not working for me. I'm thinking that they're not um, sticking because uh, I have makeup on. Maybe I'm supposed to stick them to my bare skin first and then put my makeup on, but I don't know how I would. Anyway, but yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Y'all, these tacos, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, every time, okay? Every time. Um, what else? Oh, the Kardashians, y'all. Did I already tell y'all about the Kardashians? Uh, the FBI didn't. Allegedly, y'all, found some tapes and stuff with Kris Jenner. They're linking Kris Jenner to um, Puff Daddy and then, uh, um, allegedly... Uh, Kim Kardashian, she stopped following um, Puffy, and you know they're just trying to separate themselves or whatever. But um, I just heard that they're digging into the Kardashians now. Like y'all, it's, it's some stuff is about to go down. It's gonna be a lot of freaking um, celebrities go down, okay, with Puffy allegedly, okay, like. Just horrible. Horrible. Anyway, uh, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok, okay? Follow me on the Family Vlog channel. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 hey, 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 uh, uh, and I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.